So I'm going to be giving an overview of the data visualizer covering some of the major features of the mini embedded debugger and the embedded debugger and the differences between those in terms of what we're able to get in terms of data from the microcontroller as well as how we're able to visualize using the data visualizer. In the process I'll also show an overview of the user guide and how to use it efficiently and effectively. Okay, so the demo that I have is a low power demo with the ATtiny817. We're using an RTC periodic timer starting an ADC conversion via the event system and then sending the ADC result on the UART. The ADC pin we use is PA1, which is connected to a pot between BCC and ground. The UART is automatically available on the embedded debugger CDC. On the X-Plane Pro, a similar connection with the pot and the UART is again automatically connected to the EDVG. On the Xplain Pro there is additionally the explained analog module. This allows us to measure the MCU and or the I.O. The I.O. would be the board and anything plugged into it. So in Studio I'm able to access the data visualizer under the tools menu data visualizer in which case it opens in studio. In general when I'm working on a single screen I prefer to use the standalone version of the data visualizer. So here I'm still with the mini embedded debugger and so it's quite normal for this to stay blank here because it's this is the data gateway interface and you can see that there are two inputs the one is the serial port and the other is the DGI. So this application runs at 57600 and connecting I can see it opens a terminal and I can see that there are values coming out. Now if I want to graph let's first click this question mark here and here I get an overview of the major use cases of the data visualizer um, including power debugging etc. If I click on visualization, graph, F1 here, here I'm more in the context of the specific graph module and I don't need to know too much about it, but I'd like to just see an example of how it's configured. So here I can see that basically once you have something that you're wanting to graph, you drag it into the plot and your data starts flowing. So what I'm wanting to do is double click on the graph and drop my serial port into a plot here. Okay, and then my data starts flowing. Now I'm going to scroll by time and points. And just stop it by pushing spacebar. Now I can add some horizontal cursors and notice that the readings stop below 100 and above 200 automatically fit to wire because I know that this is this full scale of my application. So now I can see that there's some kind of limitation in the ADC. We're just getting readings outside of this particular window. Okay, so now it would be nice to understand the power consumption of the application and maybe some more things about it. But that's all I can really do on the mini embedded debugger. There's a graph and a serial port. So I'm going to just move the application. So just disconnect here. And I'm going to unplug my mini embedded debugger and take my power on the ground, plug it into the other kit, and now connect via the 817 Explain Pro. So now I can see a new COM port comes up uh, which I can connect to and re-clicking so embedded debugger and programming the part I'm going back to the data visualizer I see that I have the same functionality as before and in addition I can connect to the DGI interface so the DGI gives me a number of different interface options, SPI, TWI, GPI, and Power. Um, I'm going to just look at DGI, uh, GPIO and Power and click Start. And you can see immediately I get some information here. Now I don't actually want my GPIO on this graph, 
So I'm going to uncheck my GPIO and I'm going to drop a separate graph for my GPIO. I am sitting at between a microamp and much less than that when I'm not transmitting. You can see that there's two DJI GPIO. PB6 is DJI GPIO 1. And PB6 over here, I set that pin just before I start transmitting. I put it in the TX data register and then here this while waits until the transfer complete interrupt flag and then I clear this pin. So what I'm actually doing here is measuring the duration of sending that byte of data at 57600. Synchronize the graphs, space bar to stop and now I can zoom in. Firstly, you can see that the power spike correlates to sending the data. And if I show cursors here on this graph, I can see that it takes 176 microseconds to send the character. And also I can see that this is the bulk of my power consumption.